You You too. A single was If You Were Mine. Um, There was a song that we had called Ugly, you know, that first got us some notoriety. It was like one of them, you know, playing the dozens type of song, you know what I mean? It was humorous, it was funny. And then uh, we came up with a cut called If You Were Mine, and it was uh, one of the first times when rap met R&B, you know. Um, nobody was really doing that back at the time when we did it, you know what I mean? And we took a chance on it and people was feeling it. It was, you know, at a party and a man D had a little drum machine going on, and, you know, so he was like, yo, y'all rap, don't you? Because we had heard of him, he had heard of us, you know, but we had never met. But we met at this party and it was just on. He played a beat and we just got to freestyle and people was looking like, oh, y'all doing that live? You know what I mean? So day one, we kind of had a cool chemistry, man. We didn't even know you got paid for Soul Train. You know, like, I thought yeah. you thought you just did Soul Train just to promote your record. You're like, oh, we gonna get paid too? And it was just like, I mean, it was like the highlight, man. Doing what you want to do, your dream, and getting paid too. So it was like, it was a lot. It was just, yeah, a mm-hmm. common thing with the people. We're not better, no better than no one else. And that, that always seems to cross yeah. over the crowd. Soul Train, the day we did Soul Train, I, I call myself being different, right? Everybody used to cut their hair and leave a style. <laughs> So I go to Lavelle, I'm like, man, oh, I man. want you to cut me, keep my hair on, but cut me the shape of Africa out in the back of my head. <laughs> yeah, that was a tight yeah. idea. Man. <laughs> First day, it was cool, <laughs> but when it started kind of growing, growing little, it, didn't it, like it, it didn't look like Africa no more. It didn't look like Africa, it looked like I had like a uh, <laughs> 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 like somebody just got uh, you in the barbershop. Uh, yeah. yeah. We was up in Seattle hanging out. Ah. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> the door kicking. Yeah, man. We was up in Seattle, you know, we had a show. And like what we do, we like to kick it, especially in different different towns. No, not trying to necessarily get no boots or whatever. You know, that has happened. But we like to socialize. So, yo, we invite people over. You know what I mean? That's what we used to do. Hey, come over, we're having a little get together, have some drinks, kick it back, you know, whatever. So this particular night. Been invited some young ladies to come hang out, and then at the last minute, a man here changed his mind. Like, no, nah, I'm going with front folks, and da 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 da. We y'all, both kind of switched some things up. I'll so. change y'all mind, man. But I had the game stick with the first one you get. Man, yeah, yeah. Ain't nothing from so we we had invited some people, <laughs> then forgot <laughs> forgot that we had invited some other people. So while we there at the room, man, we had this knock at the door, and we like, who the heck is that? You know, and it was <laughs> other chicks that we had initially told to come through. And so we like not asking the door. We was like, you know, we ain't here, you know. Next thing you know, man, we see the sliding glass window. You know, it was one of the little windows in the hotel, right? Slides open, somebody's hand is reaching, trying to get open the door knob, right? They couldn't quite reach it though. So next thing you know, man, we like, man, they trying to get in our room. Bow, the door comes flying down, man. <laughs> A girl kicked our hotel room door <laughs> down. And step on the door, man. <laughs> yeah. oh, y'all, y'all, y'all got all these up. other girls in here. What's up? And we were so shocked, dog. We, I think we just looked at it like, wow. <laughs> well, I miss some days you want to you go back and look at it like, man, remember we used to rock the town? And, <laughs> and now it's just cool. Now you don't look for the fame, but just want to make a living out of doing something that you want. Just, like full circle, you know what I mean? Girl, it's just a matter of time. If you and I, I take you on a trip around the world. Cut the camera off, man. Cut the camera off. Cut the camera off.